right, here is the light heavyweight contender, Johnny Walker, came off a of Dana White's contender series, Brazil style, three consecutive first round knockouts to begin his UFC career, he's just getting started. And three consecutive bonuses. It's much harder when you're going in there, fighting tooth and nail, and walking away with just your paycheck. But Johnny Walker has made a habit of putting on performances that makes people take notice. From the knockout of Khalil Roundtree to the spinning back fist that he lands against Justin Leday. He has been a highlight reel in a bottle, and he is looking to continue his climb up the UFC light heavyweight rank. And at least to this point, the only adversity he's faced in the octagon, self-inflicted oh the post-fight celebration after the Misha Serkinov. I mean, his celebrations are crazy. He threw his shoulder out yeah. doing the worm. He told me the other day in Brazil he has to find a new way to celebrate. I said, you think, Johnny? I think he does. But Johnny Walker's on the fast track, and he's got a big one in front of him here tonight. All right, tonight we get another look at the wildly talented Magomed Ankalaev, not just one of the best light heavyweights in the world. For my money, one of the top 20 pound-for-pound -pound athletes on this roster top to bottom. I feel like he can compete with anyone, but I also feel like he has a style that translates weight classes, and that is what pound for pound feet means. This guy can strike. This guy can grapple. This guy has tremendous cardio. I don't think anything points to that more than the Bohovich fight. When it went bad, he just pivoted and did something different and almost became the champion. Tonight, he's got to be on his game if he wants to get his hand raised. And a lot of people believe against any 205er in the world, Magomed Ankalaev would be the betting favorite. Let us see how he handles this stylistic challenge in front of him tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, Johnny Walker looking to get going here early in this round, not unlike the way he did early in his UFC career. As many of you know, his UFC tenure began with three consecutive first round knockouts. All of them resulted in a performance bonus, and he's going bonus chasing here tonight, folks. He believes he has a decided striking advantage in this matchup. with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Got tagged a couple times. Nice combo up top. Just out of range with that strike. Johnny Walker looking fluid on the feet here early. I'm not sure anybody loves fight night and fighting as much as Johnny Walker. Dancing and smiling on his way to the octagon. This is a man who is truly able to compartmentalize what is going on. And I think it works to his advantage as a fighter. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Just over three minutes to go round one. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Magomed Ankalaev. Circling to his right, Ankalaev gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Connects with a beautiful jab. Just misses with the jab there. Not there. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Solid punch by him there. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. 
So just over 20 total strikes have already connected for Johnny Walker. Seconds now to go in the round. Collar's out here in the clinch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, back and forth, we go. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. DC headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in Huge shot there just before you heard the horn. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, ahead. round two. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Oh, massive right hand. And he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh my goodness, what a right hand. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Walker's eye is starting to swell shut. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Walker's. Oh! Another one! One oh, eight, he's fine. Both of these guys are trying to finish. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. Two minutes to go round two. Oh, he is hurting for something. All right, let's get to the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Magomed Ekelaya! Oh, right, well, you can argue that is as big a win as we have ever seen out of Magomed Ekelaya. He gets it done by flush KO tonight. Well, you've always heard stories of him having this type of ability. We just have not been able to see it because he's so calm and patient. But this is exactly what he needed in order to put himself in line for a championship opportunity.